It's Madden NFL 24, and we'll see Devin White, who had a strong showing last week with an eight-tackle game. It's the Packers and the Huskies on Monday night. Hello, Ms. Lady. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome to Rio de Janeiro, but I think we're in Wisconsin. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us in South America. Oh, no, we in Rio. We in Rio. It's like the movie. of Rio de Janeiro. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you look at this Rio de Janeiro team. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last yeah, week, we're real. they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for the visiting Packers, it's... It's like the movie. They made a movie about us. 
couple yards deep. He'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll be backed up to start. Yeah, yeah, the verse. <laughs> but we Huskies. They had to change it because they didn't want to give us copyright. Look at those stats. That's terrible. Four for ten? That's terrible. And the reason I do, he tends to stand an even keel. Doesn't let too much ruffle him. He but he gets wins, so needs to be managed. I can't be too mad. Be two and, and two. It's gonna be a long game if we keep doing that. Back at his own six yard line. Mozzie Smith brings him down, and that's a play he's gonna The movie real? The first sack he had to get a cut. But he didn't pay us. That's just like Roger Goodell. Nice. He, 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 he's, his rookie year is going to be rocky. He, still, he does a pass like that, but the play right before he gets sacked. He's trying, he's trying. Good, good try. He had 100 yards last last week. It's second down. He was the backup. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 21 carries, 105 yards. Just an excellent performance from them on the ground last week, and that speaks to an offense that is operating at a high level on all fronts. Of course, that man running the ball, he's just seeing the field so well. But don't forget about his offensive line. They've really asserted their will out there. We got to protect the middle of our offensive line this week. It's off season. We're gonna to try to get. We're gonna to try to get a better line. Oh, he dropped it. Good try, though. Good try. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. Him and Michael Mayer are gonna grow up together. Last week, as this one's away. On the return is Pettis. We'll call that a 49 yard. Some growing pains. Just 39 following the 10 yard return. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. Two so attack on our lower. Offense to take over for the first time. They will be led out by the six-foot lefty from Alabama. It's two a tongue of Iloa. And this is a game for grit, determination, and somehow finding a way not to panic. What a horrible start for them. I mean, they haven't won a game yet. So now, as a quarterback, you're not just talking to them. Well, That's too much yards. We gotta, we gotta push him back a little bit. He's got to be the leader by how he plays. The numbers for him from a week ago. 15 carries, 65 yards, and a touchdown as well. Not a horrendous week last week running the ball, but definitely room for improvement for their numbers. No doubt. That's, that's fine. Keep the, keep the plays in front of you. This week in hopes they can kick those numbers up a notch. First and 10, Taylor now. Let's go. No gain on the play there. Second down. Hey, look at this defense. They were excellent last week in the win over the Chargers. And they needed to be because that game was a game you don't see very often anymore. Low scoring, slugging it out in the trenches. One play can make the difference in the game. And they got it done. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Here's Tug of Ilo to throw. Let's go. Three and out, baby. Monte Adams is on a is on a dolphin. That's crazy. Last week in the loss as he gets this one away. Fielded at the 20. Call that a 44 yard punt. Five on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Hunter Renfro. Is on the Giants? Throwing on first down, O'Connell. Hmm. The middle of our center and our left guard. We need to we need to tighten that up. But we're going to work on that in the offseason. That's our first concern, is getting that line scrimmage. Let's go. Hopefully it's rubbing the pack to not holding. Let's go. Let's go. 
So now a fresh set of downs, first and ten after roughing the passer. Here's O'Connell. He's got Hooper on the short connection. And a gain of four gets him right to the midfield stripe. Yeah, Austin, we got Austin Hooper also. Here's second and six. They run straight ahead with Snell. And he is met at the line. They watching him. They watching him. They don't want him they don't want him to cook. We got the we got we got the safety pulled up. We can throw it over them. We can throw it over the top. Let's go. Ooh. Almost, almost. Keep trying, keep trying. He gonna break one. Don't worry. Off the play fake. Here's O'Connell. He drop it. Let's go. And this is gonna result in another first down as the tackles made at the Packers' 22-yard line. Fakes the handoff. Now O'Connell to throw. Oh, I see what you was going for there. I can't be too mad. I can't be too mad. I see what you was going for. Michael Peters. Mm. I mean, Mark Peters. Mark Peters. And I go back to the offseason and have a quick conversation with him about, hey, when you play younger quarterbacks, what's it like for you? And he says it's like being a boxer. I give him a lot of different angles, a lot of different looks, and a lot of times I just bait the young guy. And there he baited him right into the interception. Two is throw here into the hands. Here we go. Here we go. And from the 15, they're able to work this up to the 20 for a pickup of a handful. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Tug of Ilo are going to try and throw on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's, he's trying to help. Oh, why are you so aggressive? By about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. Again, they will throw it with Tug of Ilo. There you go. Pressure comes, and down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. So after the sack, here's second and 14. Yeah, those yards back. Or someone. That's a new card back. Now Tua. Here we go. Sideline, but it's incomplete. When you look at this defense, they come into this one ranked number five in the NFL against the run. Most of their challenges have come in the passing game because against the run, they've been pretty darn good. Now you've got to figure out a way to slow down those receivers. There you go. Another three and out. Our defense is holding us down right now. Forty-six on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So a change of possession here on the punt, and they will take over first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He dropped it. Going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Give here to Snell. He'll get a yard. That's all as they get him down. Got to get our running game up and going. Here's third and nine. Play action. Now Connell. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, how about the challenge we're seeing here in this game early? Man coverage against some fleet receivers. That time, the defense won. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. So possession goes. All right, it's a defensive game. And it will be first and ten as they take Denver over. don't break. Setting to throw on first down is two. And that is nice hit. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Two are going to throw. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. 
And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. A whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. And he's able to take this one up to the Oh, line. no, come on. Yeah, now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Back to Taylor on first down. Good hit. Take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, this defense very strong in that victory from a week ago. And they needed to be because the game was a game we don't see very often anymore. Low scoring, slugging it out in the trenches. One play can make the Good difference hit. of the game, and each play took on more importance, and they got it done. Now a timeout called for by the offense. So as they talk it over, we step aside. On third down, here's Taylor. Let's go. Warm to the ball. Let's go. Don't what you can do. Once again, we've seen both of these offenses still sort of in that figuring things out phase, but I suspect some action on the scoreboard soon as they start out here first and ten. Oh. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted. Defense is not even. Oh, Stephon Gilmore. Okay. Again from the twenty on second and ten. Throw right side, hauled in by Dobbs. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Back to throw, O'Connell. Let's go. They yeah, he held on to it. I like it. So here's a first and ten at the 38. Snell going to try the right side. There's a nice move. Good try, good try. That was a nice stiff arm. Now second and five. They're gonna run again with Snell. Let's go. That's what, that's what I'm saying. We just keep going. We keep trying. We bend. We don't break. Here with O'Connell. And the Packers give him nowhere to go and they bring him down. A coverage sack. Okay. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. Oh, on second down, it's Snell. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the That's a little bit back. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball. He's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many. Mm. Can't Randy Gregory, good. The, the package are stacked. Drops him for a loss of 12, and it also brings up fourth down. He's averaging just under. Let's go running into the kicker. Gets this away. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. Personal foul. Oh, roughing the kicker first down. Let's go. <laughs> that hurts. If it was running into the kicker, wouldn't be a first down. Roughing, it is a first. And just think about the differences between the two. Running into the kicker almost feels inadvertent. Just a small tap, so to speak. But when you rough it, usually bodies are hitting the ground and flying all different places. And the difference is five yards. Let's take this. Let's take this, this and case, let's not make it go to wait. Let's go. The play fake. O'Connell. There you go. And that's Lazard. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 27 yard line. To throw here. O'Connell able to hit his target, Claypool. 
That's what I kind of like about um, AI in this game now. Even though he, he's making a lot of mistakes with like sacks, he got an interception or whatever. He's not inaccurate. Oh, goodness. Our offensive line worked. That left side. No, that's, uh, yeah, I think that's the, I think that's the right side. There you go. You're on the board. Y'all said that he a rookie. He got to learn. He got to learn. Accurate. He's just he just got to get his confidence up. In the midst of, well, let's just say a not so rosy losing streak. They've got the open week they're coming up next weekend, so you have to figure this to be a game that they dearly love to have. Oh, indeed, they have to have this one because that's something positive to take with you when you go away for a few days, and it actually releases your mind. If they lose this one, that mind stays cluttered the entire time they're away. They've got to scramble to get back in sync when they start playing again. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Over the middle. Four minutes, inches. Let's go. And oh, he's just going to be short here. Barely. But don't break. Unless they do a trick play, that would be crazy. Inches. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15 yard line. Now the Rio offense set to take over. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for. Oh, you should have kept running to the sideline. You would have been out of there. From long distance. Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on. And he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. They'll see about converting this third and eight. And O'Connell now to throw. Mm. Throw it away. He goes down just inside the 10, back at the 9. Exactly. Can't beat him up out here. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Now, fair catch is called for and taken at the, we'll call it the 37 yard line. So, good field position for the Packers as they come up first and 10 at their 38. Throwing now is Chug of Iloa. Mm. Got to pick it. I like it. So the completion good for just three. And it'll be second down. Second quarter. Two minutes remain. Three nothing our score. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half. One that's featured no touchdowns. Let's go. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to get the, to get the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. They'll set up the screen to Taylor. There we go. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. The Rio offense about to set up shop once again as we eat closer and closer to intermission. Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher. Oh, no, he got injured. Because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's That's not good. Continues. 
And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. That's, That's not bad. That's not bad. It's your boy Hayden. Out of bounds. 15 yards on the play. First down. Throwing Hayner. Quick hitter here. It's complete. It'll be a gain of five. And that will bring up second down. Hayner looking to throw. Over the middle. He's got Mayer. He's trying to earn the spot. He's trying to earn the starting job. Playing like that. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. <laughs> QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it. You think he was really ready to get that? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big time arm right there, and let's face it. A lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. Oh no! Like, I'm, I'm impressed. He, he he came in. He commanded the offense. He literally, uh, literally left me speechless. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. So we have reached halftime with our score 10-0 as we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll get started over at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in downtown Atlanta, where it was the Falcons who were able oh to pick goodness. up victory at home. Saquon Barkley, what a game. Texans got beat up in the victory. From there, we're off to check out another game, and they were losers in that one to the yeah. visiting Cincinnati. Look at the, look at Baltimore. I mean, look at the Steelers. Oh my goodness! Victory. Lastly, let's check in on our nation's capital to see what's happening with the Washington Commanders at home at FedEx Field, and it was the visiting Chicago Bears who come away with the victory. Brandon Ayuk over a hundred yards receiving. And a touchdown catch as well. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. Boy came in and dominated. All right, coach. Thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Ten nothing is our score as we get started again on EA Sports. Taken at the goal line. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21 yard line. It's still got the killed. Still got killed. Getting set to start off this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Here's second and ten. They give the Taylor out of the goal. Oh, come on. We got to tackle. We can't allow that to happen. Stiff arm for a little bit of leverage before he's taken down. A pretty good game. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. 
Here you go. Rack him up. And he is going to lose yardage here. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now. As he'll come on to kick for a six time tonight. Fair catch called for right around the 11 yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They'll run with Snell to begin the drive. And nothing. Actually, 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 I'm going to give him a chance. I'm going to give him a chance to finish out the game. And that's it. I'm going to give him a chance. Let's see what he can do. Second down. Again, they defer to Snell. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Painter here from the gun. Oh. And a double coverage and it's intercepted. And they're going to set up shop at the... He threw an interception to the same person. <laughs> Running straight ahead, Taylor. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. They still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Letting one go deep for the end. There you go. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way, way out there, but it'll be third down. I'll give him the right to this court. Let's see if he, if he did any better than McConnell. Here's Tua. Oh, 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 you should have pulled that down. Suckup's kick is good. So kind of disappointing there. I mean, yes, they get the three, but with starting field position like that, three's not what you're banking on. No, and you just have to wonder if you can afford to let chances like that continue to pass you by. You've got to find ways to get the ball into the end zone and put sixes on the scoreboard. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The Rio offense about to set up shop once again. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. That's thrown quickly out wide to Lazard. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And that'll bring up second down. Out of the gun, it's Hayner. Oh my goodness, nice. He got cannon though, I ain't gonna hold you. Play action. Here's Hayner to throw. Oh, who is that too? <laughs> he wasn't even moving. But it's fine. Everyone makes mistakes. Second and third down to fall back on. The throw over the middle taken in. And he's down. Put too much touch on that. Could have probably got the first. Maybe three. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Play fake. It's Hayner. And that went to the right side and incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football forces the incompletion. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Green Bay's offense ready to go again. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense is done. Good the job, job, good job. It's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. Second down, eight to go from the 28. Play 
action. Now it's Tua. Looking left side, and he's got a man. Good tackle, good wrap up tackle. And down right around the 32 yard line, four yards on the pickup. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now Tua. Here we go. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he's on to punt for Green Bay. This is brought in at the 21. A yeah, seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And the Rio offense set to take over. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Hayner here to throw it. Got a man, that's Lazard. And yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They'll go with Snell here on first down. And he'll be taken down at about the 45. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage. But Ooh. pressure and down he goes. But he took a he took a short sack, so I appreciate that. He didn't run all the way back. And it brings up third down on the sack. Here's Hayner looking to throw it. There you go. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 35. Hayner. Short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. Just a gain of a couple there. And it's second down. Now Snell. Come on, Snell. You should have broke that tackle. You would have been out of there. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that good, good throw away. Good throw away. On third down there, but he cannot connect. Green Bay up to the task there in coverage and forcing a fourth down. The kick by Carlson is good, and they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 13 3. So the lead extended. I, I think at this point you say, hey, defense, take us to the end. Well, if I got some good music to put to that, I could have a good country hit. I like the way you express yourself there. I think the offense has done enough so far. But like you said, if your defense is only giving up three points, it makes it a lot easier to settle for field goals on this side of the ball. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much. Well, we got a tackle. We got a tackle. We can't be having that. I know that right now the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, they've got to find some type of a play. Multiple Let them catch that? Come on, you got to put your hands out. allows for them to have some success. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Two are going to throw. Open man here is Conklin. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Uh, we also need some pressure.
It's the Packers who have the football, but in need of points as we begin quarter number four. Two and a throw again. Over the middle complete. It's Williams. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. And the down break. To go, second down. Looking to pass to him. There you and go. Be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Open man. He Let's go. To Judy. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Fourth down, fourth quarter. Here's Tua. That ball's caught. There we go. And now this is going to be close. The defense says they stopped him, and they did. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 44. Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. From the 48 yard line, here's second and two. Snell on the shotgun handoff. In you go. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. 52 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. On first down, it's Snell again. There you go, Snell. <laughs> nice little juke. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23 yard line. First down, Hayner. Throw caught by Mayer. And nice it's time. taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. Here's second and seven. Hayner sets to throw it. Throw away, throw away. Throw left sideline falls incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. All right, that's fine. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. Carlson able to put this one through, and the lead stretches 16-3 to now. So that maybe not a knockout blow, but I, I suppose certainly every little bit helps when you're trying to salt one away in the fourth. Well, the possibility of being beaten by two late touchdowns or at least sent to overtime does exist. But time, definitely a big factor at this stage of the game, is in their favor. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. On play action, here's Tua. Drop it, let's go. Drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. Come back. Short throw caught by the tight end, Oliver. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down. Got him. Let's go. In trouble and he's taken down. The pressure from multiple guys there as they bury him for a big nine yard loss. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. He's nice. Complete to Aguilar. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. Hayner will throw on first down. He's got the hook up with Dobbs. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that's going to bring up second down. They run play action with Hayner. Oh. And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. 
A run for Snell. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Daniel Carlson on for the field goal. The kick by Carlson is good. So the big return had him fired up, but in the end, the offense stalls out. They only muster three. Yeah, the excitement was there after the return, but they didn't move the ball at all after that. They didn't even get a first down. And bulldozing his way through. Oh, nice run. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. So first and 10 now from the 30. From the gun, it's Tua. Throw right side is going to be caught by Judy. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Second and a couple. Tua sets up to pass it. Nice. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies. Oh, that was a nice fake. In this case, no one can. That's a nice option. And this will be a Packers first down as good running gets him to about the 44. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. Oh, we got a tackle. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He's just not had his focus in this game. It's not one drop. It's not two. That's three for this contest. Yeah, uncharacteristic for any NFL receiver, and he's no exception. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And quickly they get to the line. Tug of Iloa going to try and throw on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And on. he's going to have I'll let him in the touchdown. First down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And it's caught. Touchdown. Hey, Jim, he's injured. Jamison Williams, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Packers are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. The two are going to try and throw for it. And they're going to get the two. two-point conversion. That's not good. So they get the conversion, and now we're back to a one-score game. And that almost makes it a brand-new ball game. Now it's a one-score affair after they get the two. And you have to know they were holding their breath on the two-point play because they had to have it to get it within the range that you just talked about. Dialed up their two-point play. It worked. Now they're feeling like they've got a shot at this one. Hayner on first and ten. Nice throw. Good, good throw away. And when you're in a one score game in the second half, now's not the time to force the football into places where you shouldn't. And that's a smart decision to just get that one out of there. Hayner throwing again on second down. Let's go. On the money to play through downfield. And touchdown. Chase Claypool. Claypool with another touchdown. Quarter able to further that lead with a touchdown pass. He didn't go turtle, did he? And you know what I mean by that. And an old coach used to say all the time, hey, when we have a lead late, don't just tuck in and try and ride it out. Go out and play and extend the lead. And that's what he did. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. So the Packers down by 15, just over two minutes to go. They'll have one play here just north of the two-minute warning. Two and now on first down. There you go. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Throwing to a... 
Able to find Judy. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. What a way to wrap up the week. Now a big play. It's third down. Keep moving down, Jay. Let that clock run. Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Tua. Got an open man. It's Pringle. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. <laughs> now Tua. Oh my goodness, he just, he just carving us up. Across the formation. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Throwing on first down, but this I still don't want them to get a touchdown, though. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, here you go. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. This crowd turning up the decibel level. It's third and long. Here you go. And they got to him again. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they stop with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. Hey. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag there. Oh, get out of here. Certainly, those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, Oof. but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and no, we, We're not great against tight ends, so this is our worst part of the field. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Here now, second and goal. One final try for Tongue of Iloa. And this is caught. So it's a late touchdown, but maybe too late. Still a little time left on the clock, however. Extra point up and good by Suckup as this gets him back within a touchdown and a two-point conversion. So with just a few ticks left, they need a miracle. Down the numbers. There he goes. Good job, Huskies. Meanwhile, for the Packers, <laughs> things aren't looking good. It'll be an 0-5 start. And perhaps, fortunately for them, they'll get an early bye next week and come back to action in week seven. And for Charles Davis and our team, you win, that's all that is. And Gordon, you've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. I thought we in Rio. The laws are different here. He didn't know what he was doing because they would speak in Spanish. He don't speak Spanish. He didn't know that when we got here. <laughs> we got three injuries. We, we, we hurting right now. All on defense.
product. Okay, we signed everyone that we wanted to sign, or we signed everyone who wanted to sign and everybody who but interested. Everybody else can go. <laughs> that trans reporter is open. <laughs> It's okay because these are adults. <laughs> It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and up next is Devondre Campbell, who had a strong showing last week with an eight-tackle game. It's the Patriots and the Huskies, next on Madden Football. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us in South America in the vibrant and colorful Brazilian beachside city of Rio de Janeiro. Today we've got a Week 6 matchup for you here. It'll be the New England Patriots taking on the Huskies of Rio de Janeiro. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you look at this Rio de Janeiro team. They come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. 
On the other side of the field for the visiting Patriots, they were losers their last time out. They're going to try Derek to Carr is the starting quarterback for the have to do that Patriots. In environment. And sometimes it actually works to your advantage. Now you've got to band together your team, the us against the world mentality. Let's see if they can use <laughs> it and get a victory. The Chiefs just beat the Chiefs just beat the Broncos to make to make them no longer undefeated. <laughs> and he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they will be led out by the youngster, the rookie, their QB. It's a pretty bland game he had last time out. Ended up throwing one interception. Didn't have a touchdown to offset it. But the team found a way to win. He found a way to lean on other parts of the offense that carried them through. O'Connell to throw right away. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. No pass interference. Get out of here. He tackled him. First down, but he couldn't reel it in. Second and ten. Off the play fake, here's O'Connell. And he'll let this go deep for Lazard. Let's go. O'Connell didn't like riding the bench last game. Before being taken down. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. First and ten at the 41 yard line. Now it's O'Connell. This is Chase Claypool on the receiving end. Let's go. To the 20 before he's dropped. Play action. Now O'Connell. Throw out left caught by Mayer. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. Now O'Connell. Oh, if you could have pulled that down. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will actually break your heart. They had everything they wanted, just unable to complete it. In the end zone, a big time drop. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a there you go, rough in the pass. Hey, baby, this ain't good enough for us. So a critical mistake. We got to do a punch this in now, Neil. Now it's first and goal. To throw here, O'Connell. Over the middle, he's got Mayer. Only a yard. O'Connell, you don't have to be a hero. You don't have to be a hero. Snell. Why are you doing toss back? I, got, I definitely got to fix this playbook. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. From the shotgun, O'Connell. Here you go. Playboy is putting in work. Huskies will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. Looking sharp on that first drive. These guys, of course, coming off back-to-back -back victories, and you see that kind of advancing into this game, don't you? You certainly do, and when you have a team that doesn't get too full of itself, even though they've won two games in a row, you get the end result that we saw there, that nice opening drive, because they're sharp, they're focused, and they're locked into everything that they're doing. Now, the injury. Everything here, we're going to get a timeout by the offense. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Steven Sims now on the return. Here you go. Make it to the 20 yard line and no further. So out comes the Patriots offense as they'll get their first shot at things here. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot. Damn, De Derek Carr is 10 and 1. Yeah, almost a thousand yards already. I thought he played fairly well overall. The numbers won't knock your socks off. Two touchdown passes and an interception. The bottom line, though, they lost. Yeah. How does he eliminate that one interception, continue to take care of the ball, and maybe increase the number of times he puts the ball in the end zone with a receiver? <laughs> the numbers on the ground for Pierce last week. 
18 carries, 90 yards. And their success running the ball in the previous game has to give them a lot of confidence, but they also understand going against a top five rush defense means you have to have a lot of confidence in your game plan. Misdirection, counters, power game, maybe even some quarterback run to take the heat off of the running back. Card out of throw. That is caught. And they got tackled. We got a tackle. Takes it across the 40 yard line. On play action. Now Carr. That is caught. Michael Pittman with it. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and two. Oh, I got work. I can't even got things rolling on this drive. Now Carr on the bootleg. He'll get this one to Pittman. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll be second down. Again, they'll throw with Carr. Swings this one out wide for Pierce. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four yard pickup leaves him with third and one. I get out there. Pierce will try to pick it up. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Working from the gun, it's Carr. This one complete to Tanyan in the leaf. So five yards here, five on the play. And it's second down. To throw, it's Carr. And it's got them. Well, the defender all over at that time, but it's going to lead to third down. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Here's Carr to throw. Thanks. This is going to be incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. And this one is right through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Game on. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. The partner is a former defensive back. I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked. Hold on to the ball. There you go. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Throwing on third, O'Connell. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Running left with Snell. He goes now. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. They pick up 12 on the play and the chains move. Here's O'Connell looking to throw it. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free and it's second down. Throwing, O'Connell. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. I'm glad you dropped. I'm glad you did get this. That would have been an awesome of yours. And that'll make it third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Off the play fake. O'Connell. Nice pitch. That's complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Patriots 18. They run. 
run straight ahead with Snell. And he'll go down here at the 12 yard line. Devon Hamilton with the tackle. Second and five. O'Connell now off the bootleg. Throw away. And he just Throw chucked away. that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. Out of the shotgun, here's O'Connell. He's got Here you go. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Back to throw, O'Connell. Again, let's go. Michael Mayer, a seven yard touchdown grab. And the Huskies are able to stretch out their lead. We're still in the first quarter, but it's apparent they're going to have to come up with a different defensive game plan for him because right now he's kind of having his way against that defense and has added a touchdown to the list. How do you slow him down? They're going to have to mix up some coverages, maybe change who's guarding him. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And go. taken down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one of 14. 132 pass yards in the first quarter. So far, no control of the football. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Yeah, they dipped a game below 500 following the loss last week, and you get the <laughs> sense that maybe. That was a nice side. start. A big play there for New England, 49 yards. So the big play changes the complexion. Be probably better than that. First and ten, just outside the 30. Got him. Nowhere to turn here. Gonna go down back at about the 37 yard line. So, second and long, and gotta be careful not to fall out of field goal range. On second down, here's Pierce, and he'll be taken down at the 33, a pickup of about four. This offense so far on third down, they've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third down and 12. Now, Carr back again. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Pick up the ball. Like the there, he goes right side. there we go. And he's bring the back for a touchdown. How we knew car loved us. They give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up. And it turns into six points for him. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice. You're such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up. And boy, a big play. Adding our stats for us. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you do, do I ever. Extra point by Carlson. Up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. The scoop and score. Always an exciting play in football. And we witnessed it there. Grabbing it off the ground. And then rumbling it into the end zone for six. Sims going to go ahead and hold on to this one, and they'll start at the 25. Car now on first down. And oh. complete. Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. Now a play fake, Carr. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Now Carr. He drops it, let's go. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Ryan Wright. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. 
Fielded just inside the 30. 43 yards on the punt. Seven-yard return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. And O'Connell now to throw. Oh, my God. McConnell. Oh, God. I'm sorry. <laughs> Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now after the INT, it's Carr. Oh, you gave him way too much space. Hopkins. And brought down, but not before they yeah, were not happen. 25. Oh. On first down, Carr. Got him. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Car gonna throw. Got him again. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Max Crosby. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. But the pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. 57. And this one is no good. He missed it. And the deficit will stay at three scores. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. Sterling was out with the tackle. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Second and ten. At their 48 yard Throwing on second down. Here's O'Connell. He's got the hook up with Dobbs. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Here's O'Connell. Short throw, and that's holding on to the ball. ball. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. And he's got his man out of the backfield. Nice. That's complete. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Come on, Snail. You can get this one yard. You can get this. Trying to run for it with Snell. Good, good job. Down, but not before he was able to break the tackle, and the extra effort moves the sticks. To throw here, O'Connell. Let's go. Three touchdown game. Let's go. He's trying to show some people that he ain't a bum. Remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. And three touchdown passes. You're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents. And also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. And Sims says, let's bring it out to the 25. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And the last time that they were on the field, a little demoralizing. Missed field goal. You know, always feel like you want to get it in the end zone, but then, oh, well, at least we're going to get three. Didn't go through the goalpost. So. Oh. It does test the mental processes of the team, though, doesn't it? Because when you miss a field goal, it's amazing how fast they want to turn on the guy kicking the ball. But you need to keep his confidence up because how many times have we seen games where it comes down to a stretch? And guess what? You need that guy to make the big kick for your team to move on or to win a game. Make sure you keep him happy. Make sure you keep him comfortable. I'm sure you always treated the kicker nicely, though, right? You know, truthfully, I did. Good. I always did because those guys, 
They won us a whole lot of games. Oh, how do you let him catch that over you? Pass midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. That's complete once again to Hopkins. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. Quick throw into the hands of Hopkins out wide. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. They missed a field goal on their last drive. Here they need something to even get into field goal range on third down. On third down, here's Pierce. There you go. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Fourth down now after a loss of two. They'll go for it. It's Carr. Uh, he held on to it. He's got a man complete. And he is going to pick up a Patriots first down, it would appear. And yes, the chain gang going to move the sticks. They take a risk on fourth and four, but they get it by a full yard. Carr completes it. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25. No, don't get ejected. No fighting, no fighting. Guy in Las Vegas anyway. Here's Carr. Throws to his man on the out round. It's complete. That's Robinson. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Into the red zone. It's Carr. That's oh, it. Dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Now Carr after the That sounded dirty the way that he just said that. Second and ten. That's indicative of how this game is going, but it sounds like something else. And he'll drop to throw. To Pierce, they set up the screen. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. Carr going to try and throw on third down. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Another good drive, Charles, but it looks like another that might end in a field goal try. They've made some nice plays. They've given themselves opportunities. But as you noted, another field goal attempt coming up. And that's not how they want to end drives. They've got to figure out what's the final touch that they need to push it across the goal line. Yeah, still yet to find the end zone. So the three points there in CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor. Okay, I think we should take a shot down the field. 39 seconds, we up by three touchdowns. Really ain't got nothing to lose. They get the ball back at the start of the half. And with a three-score lead already, this is not time for a momentum change, so I'd imagine they'd be happy to just take this into the locker room. I think we should take a shot. Offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Let's go. He dropped it. Ah, uh, he dropped it. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. He had him. He had him on the sideline and everything. Control of the football, switching hands with very little time. He's just going to run out the clock, I think. In motion, right is Robinson. Now he's going to get it on the jet sweep. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Oh, no, they're going for it. Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. The car's throw into the hands of Pittman here. Now a signal and a timeout call. As it comes with nine seconds to go in this first half of play. From midfield, here's Carr. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. Here's Pierce on the counter. And a good run here as he'll rumble all the way down to the 40-yard line. 
So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. Doing good. We're doing good. Continued our EA Studios in Orlando. Here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon. Thanks. A few teams starting to rise to the top as it's time to take you around the NFL here in Week Six. We'll get started out at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, and as you see, they were winners back on Thursday night. Elijah Mitchell, what a game! Three touchdown runs in the victory. From there, we head over to MetLife Stadium to check in on the Jets. And you can see, currently, they trail in that ball game. Darius Slayton, a touchdown reception. Lastly, we head to Southern California to check on the Rams at home at SoFi Stadium. And this one going the visitor's way as the Cardinals have the lead in that one. Former number one overall pick Joe Burrow with a touchdown pass. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far. But there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. Sims going to go ahead and hold on to this one, and they'll start at the 25. And the Patriots going to take over here to start quarter number three. And you have to think, Charles, down three scores already. They need to play an almost perfect second half to have a solid chance. And that absolutely starts with finding some way to put together a touchdown drive here. They need to be smart fast efficient get the ball to the end zone and do it again multiple times in order to have a chance to win this game give him a gain of five on the completion and that'll make it second down At the 30 -yard line. Pierce takes it straight ahead and he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three and guess what it brings up third down they'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here Going for it with Pierce. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Car now on first down. This would complete to Tunyon underneath. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Second down and a yard. At the 45 yard line. A run for Pierce out of the gun. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. First down, they go right back to Pierce. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Coming in to put a lick on it was Levante David. I think it's pretty evident we can say what a difference a week makes. Last week, he ran pretty much wild, didn't he? Did pretty much what he wanted to do. But this one, they've stopped him cold. That, to me, that's good scouting and even better execution. Yeah, and they stopped him behind the line right there. They obviously watched the tape a few times and made some adjustments. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And he will not get away from the pressure here. Carr taken down. Buried for the sack by big Jalen Carter. Looks like another empty possession here, partner. And I don't think with three scores down in the third quarter, they can truly afford any more the rest of the way. No, especially the way their offense is sputtering. I, I think you're exactly right. They got to find some answers quickly. And here's Ryan right now as he'll kick it away for the second time. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. First down throw, O'Connell. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. 
Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Holding offense. Now after the holding call, here's second and 20. On the handoff, it's Snell, and he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. No gain on the play. It's now third down and long. Now O'Connell. To the sideline and incomplete. An absolutely zero surprise that that one was incomplete, huh? I mean, truthfully, how many OCs have we seen? But third and 20 on their place, you can go, oh, I've got the exact play to dial up. No, that's just a, a head-scratching down <laughs> when you're facing a third and 20. Tried to complete it, couldn't get it done. Personal foul. Face mask. Well, more problems defensively. The face mask adds 15 yards. And this has really been an undisciplined team. We've seen them make a lot of mistakes similar to this. It's a big reason why they're down so big on the scoreboard. So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and 10. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Carl try it again on second down. Throw right side. This is into the hands of the tight end, Tunyon. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Okay, here we go. That gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Shotgun now for Carr. Pass to the sideline and pulls oh, out. he was out of bounds. His foot was out. Before he crosses over out of bounds. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. I don't have control of it. I would hope you challenge that, but they won't. First and 10, it's Pierce. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Also, the challenge in Madden, they, they changed it. Back in the day, you used to be able to pick what you're challenging. Now you just, they, they challenge what they think you're trying to challenge. Jalen Carter able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. But collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now yeah, so like in that instance, they would have probably challenged if he had possession of the ball or something. Because there's so many ways to try and counter for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Under Here we go. Got him again. Max Crosby getting him once again. He got seven sacks in the game. Offensively, they're going to have to figure this out for next week. Seven sacks in one game. Yeah, that's more than any quarterback should have to Yeah, he was like, get back down. We're taking a selfie. There will be another quarterback in the game because no one can stand up to this week after week. <laughs> so coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. And he's going to miss this one. Wide to the left from distance. It's no good, and the deficit will hold at 22. So make it two missed field goals for him now, but I have the sense given that distance, you could probably forgive him here on this one. Yeah, this is out of the range of just about anybody on planet Earth except probably you, partner. <laughs> but you just got to drive it out low and hope that somehow you hit it absolutely perfect. But no real chance for this one to go through. Our running game was non-existent today. It'll be second down. Aiden O'Connell, he was doing good. They're going to run again with Snell. Here we go. And great blocking downfield. Oh, my wide receiver. Close to the 35-yard line. 
So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, we might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Snell on the shotgun handoff. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Off the play fake. O'Connell. That's complete to the first card. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down. He's just doing that tightrope. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. That's why we still play fullbacks in, in Rio. A real we do. Now a give here to Snell. And he's gonna take this ahead for right around <laughs> three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, we play old school football. Here's Snell. Muscles him off. Let's go. Fight for those yards. Let's go. The 12 -yard line. It's a five yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Here's O'Connell looking to throw it. Oh, he ran back too far. They'll wind up losing a couple yards here on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. Daniel Carlson on for the field goal. A 31-yard attempt. The kick by Carlson is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So this one, Charles, uh, it's only the third quarter, but they appear to be well on their way to victory. I would say so because a one-score lead you don't even count, but a two-score lead you know it can evaporate in an instant. Three scores, feeling good, but you know it's not over yet. But now they've got a four-score cushion. I think you can feel pretty confident in the fact that this is going to go your way. Another goal around now for the Patriot offense. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here... This one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a Oh, we all did it. Oh, boy, you got to grab onto those. Let's just say it's been unusual. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Car gonna throw. And that is incomplete. He tried to do a screen pass on third and 14. This offense is a frustrated unit. Things are really unraveling here, and as a head coach, time to earn your I guess nothing else is working, but still, that's crazy. And that brings up another fourth down. Taken from just outside the 30. It's a 45-yard punt. Six they're pulling out all the trick plays because they like me losing my fourth four score. So <laughs> the offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Their drive last time it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field. Right for them yards. O'Connell, 220 for 29, 210 yards, three touchdowns. These short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Oh, on second down, it's Ooh. still. And right, he's going to break wall. Cold behind the line of scrimmage. The offense on third down. Are we going to take a shot or are we just going to kind of roll over? What are we doing this here? This is third and seven. Here's Snell yet again. Nice. He could have just ran through there. He would have got more yards, but got style on him. They'll run with Snell. Good job, Snell. Well, the determined run there is he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. They'll go with Snell here on first down. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. 64 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. From the 35, back to work on second and four. They run straight ahead with Snell. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. 
Play number seven now coming up on the draw. It should be perfect for a play action. A run for Snell. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to... Oh, we do things different here in uh, real. <laughs> They'll take the three and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know, if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. Car now on first down. And connecting here with Pittman on the out route. That was nice throw. And they're able to get this one across the 35. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Car now to throw. It's complete to Hopkins. And he'll be taken down, but not before Freaking he gets past crazy. the 50. It's a pickup of 12. Second play in a row with a 12-yard gain. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move. Oh, you're telling him to strip the ball now. Now Carr. That's Tunyon bringing in the quick throw. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside Arthur the 30. 280 today. That's crazy. On first down, Carr. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this run Hello? contest. Carr completes it. Stops short of the 25, but that second effort got him a couple extra. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Now a play fake. Call. Got him. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. And the defense coming through on third down. A loss of seven to bring up fourth. Now Carr. Got to have this one. That is caught. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two. I'd be allowed this man to throw for 300 yards on it. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and 10. Pierce now. That's what I want to know. We got a bend, not, we got a bend, don't break attitude. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. And Pierce gets it again on second down. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. The third down now. Those last two plays in Dick. Not giving up points. So uh, I, I can't be too. I can't be too. Okay. Ground and struggling to put up points. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense. Blanketed the field with extra defensive yeah. <laughs> back and speed. Unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Yeah. And this is going to be intercepted. You got to keep your foot on their throat until the game's over. Well, I guess an interception at this point on fourth down is just as bad as an incomplete pass. Either way, the ball goes over to the other side. Yeah, it's a tough spot to be in this late in the game. There's not a whole lot he could do there, and he winds up giving the ball away. Now the Rio offense set to take over. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. They'll run with Snell to begin the drive. And he's Good got job, Snell. 30 before he's hit and dropped. 72 yards rushing for him now as he's done it on 19 carries. First down, it's Snell again. 
This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain. We need to get a big run so we need to get a big run so that we can get him get him over hundred. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Now a second and two. Now Snell. And of the 42 yard line here and brought down there. Two yards good enough for a first. They'll keep it on the ground. Snell. Jack Lawson no got injured. Turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Running left with Snell. And they all Richmond's come in as they're gonna stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, and now third and twelve. If you do a play action. They have drawn up here a little bit behind the line. Twelve yards needed to gain a first down. Here's Snell on third down, and he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Boy, that's a five-yard loss. Fourth down now. <laughs> I'm saying, I, 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 I coach too. I'm not just an owner. <laughs> Smiles for the folks here as they head for the exits. It's a victory for their hometown guys. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just... Aiden O'Connor was balling today. 210, three touchdowns. Better. Whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So for Rio, their good start continues as they get their record up to four and two. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Chicago Bears. Meanwhile, for the Patriots, they can't quite seem to turn things around as they fall into two and four now on the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home <laughs> next week. And for Charles yeah. Davis and our entire he was, crew, he was, he was, he was trying. And, Gordon, saying so and it's funny Gordon. because he took his number. <laughs> took his on his team. Yeah. They were beating him up. Injury list is piling up. This is what I was looking for. I, I wanted to get more people focused. Better. I want to get my offensive line better. <laughs> back in back on open.
I should end it here. I end, should end the streak here with a three game winning streak, but I gotta do three. It's week seven of the National Football League, and we'll be watching Aiden O'Connell. Solid performance a week ago, throwing for three touchdowns. It's the Huskies and the Bears, and it's all just ahead on Madden NFL 24. They say summer is the time to live in Chicago. Well, that's extended into autumn as we are ready to roll under blue skies at Soldier Field. Today, we've got a matchup here in Pivotal Week 7, as it'll be the Huskies of Rio de Janeiro taking on the Chicago Bears. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden, and Charles, you look at this Bears team entering play. They come in playing pretty good football, winners of four of their last six games. And they looked awfully good last week and came away with a two-touchdown victory. They did have a few reasons for concern defensively, but all in all, they'll take a repeat here if they could get it. Meanwhile, for the visiting Cariocas, they've come in on a nice run of recent form, four wins out of five. And if you look back to last week, it was all about their defense. Anytime you hold an NFL team to single digits, that's saying something. Back in the States. And his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. Get a little bit jet lag. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. And at quarterback from the University of Oregon, it's Justin <laughs> Herbert. And he is just absolutely marvelous to watch throw a football. That's something I could do all day long, watch him throw routes versus air. But he's even more impressive when there are bodies on the field and he's creating with big throws downfield. They start on the ground with a... Ooh, that was a nice run. And he's going to get this... Oh, Zeke. We got Zeke. Uh, the team. 12 yards on the gain. A great start for this offense. From the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Yes. They keep on the ground with Elliott. To about the 35. Second down. The numbers for Zeke from last week. 19 carries, 79 yards. In a perfect world, they'd run the ball the same way they did last week, but against the number one rush defense in the league, they're going to have to find a different way to move the ball. Maybe they start throwing it early. There we go. Justin Herbert, the quarterback. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Herbert now. Open receiver. Oh, come on. First down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What did the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. Meanwhile, Herbert's throw here on target to Hurst. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. I our defense is doing good, but we got a little bit better. Here's Herbert. Ah, uh, four and two. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. <laughs> Herbert running left off. Nice hit. Just a short pickup. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Brings up second and eight. 
Moore, the man in motion. On second down, Elliott. Oh, God, we get some wide open ones. Take us down to the 33. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. Take it there you go. When you look at this defense, they are number two in the NFL against the run right now, Charles. Numbers don't tell you everything, but they do paint a pretty good picture. We're talking about two top five units going at each other. One in running the ball, one in... That was a nice throw. Elijah Moore, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Bears are on the board first here this afternoon. Extra point by Rylan up and good. And that makes Hopefully that's not a time to think. Huh. Rylan now following the touchdown back out to kick it away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. And I thought it was a really nice performance last week by him. Three touchdown passes. I think that signifies exactly what he was getting done. He did have the one interception. But that's the ratio you say you're okay with, right? If you go three to one, you're going to be pretty happy over the course of the season. And let's face it, he'll never blame the receiver publicly. But behind closed doors, <laughs> he probably told his agent, hey, what's the deal? I should have had a perfect game. Broke a tackle, but not much room there ultimately. Just up past the 25 and no further. Balled it to 26, second and seven. I'll be there in a moment. One incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Throwing O'Connell. He's got his Let's go. That's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Two fullbacks. He's there on third down as they pick up a first and ten. To the air again with O'Connell. I don't know who you was throwing that to, but that was pretty good. There's no one over. They put together a strong effort last week in the win over Chicago. This defense certainly has a lot to be proud of coming off of last week's game because when you only give up 14 points in a contest, you give your team a great chance to win. The best defense in the league is usually going to average giving up 18, 19 points a game. So to be under that, a terrific achievement. Why are you running towards him? On fourth down, AJ Cole comes on to play. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. Pulled in at the 24. So a good punt, but a solid 12 yard return. And the Bears take over. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. They'll start with the option. Two yards the gain on the keeper at its second down. When you look at this defense, they were strong last week, CD, and that went over New England. Anytime you can hold a team to less than 10 points, your expectation of winning that game is sky high. In fact, you'd absolutely be stunned to come over the lines. And this will be a Bears first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. His first carry and their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things... Come on, we got a tackle. What is this? Showed that brute strength, but he'll still be stopped shy of midfield. Second and seven. Middle. Here's Elliot. There you go. Fortunate to get anything from that. Give him a yard up to the 49. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be out of the way. Not cover tight ends for anything. So on the other side of the field now, it's first.
first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. Here's Herbert, and he's got the hook up to Moore. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he get a good head of steam going. And he's able to get it down to the 25. They're killing us. Our defense did not show up today at all. He got, he got, what, 34, 48 yards running on eight carries. <laughs> that was the end of the first quarter. Now, quickly, we got to start early or we're going to get killed out here. Oh, Crosby is injured. I swear my team is paper thin right in this season. I don't know why. Nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. 54 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. On first down, Justin Herbert. Throws to his man on the elbow. It's complete. That's right. That was a touchdown. Touchdown, Bears. Rondell Robinson. What's up, Godfrey? How are you? And the Bears lead this now 13 0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. Extra point by Ryland up and good, and it's now 14 0. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. He got a total of 7 yards. They got a total of 148. We're getting killed. Now it's O'Connell. Nah, he dropped it. There you go. Oh my god, he dropped it too. <laughs> right? <laughs> There goes something. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. On the handoff, it's Snell. And he's going to get Snell. You're disappointed in humanity because Forspoken isn't as bad. You don't believe Forspoken is as bad as people say? Numbers from last week's contest. 24 carries, 71 yards. Find Diablo a little bit. One for them is to secure the win this week, but priority number two, this guy right now. Yeah, Divine Diablo is on the bench. They want to give him that push yeah. to the top five and really earn the status of being one of the best. Got one rushing on. That's crazy. He only ran the ball twice. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors with the football. <laughs> as they've got it with a third down coming up. I'm a fortune that I can tell when we're going to have a bad game. Fakes the handoff. Now O'Connell to throw. That's to the rookie from Notre Dame, Michael Mayer. And they're going to mark him down short. Maybe by about a yard. It's oh, no. Don't we don't do a pitch. We can get the first down here. They'll go for it. O'Connell. Nice. <laughs> I thought he was going to drop it. I ain't going to hold you. Taken down, but he does have first down yardage. What do you mean because of the cuff? What what is what is cuff in a video game? Let's go. Hmm. I'd rather him take the sack than try to try to force that into an interception. Now a handoff up the middle. Snell. 
Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. This is exactly how the last game started when we was on the other side of it. <laughs> Here's O'Connell looking to throw it. Let's go. And it's caught. Touchdown. Alan Lazard. His first touchdown on the year. And the Huskies have cut it back within a score. Boy, that route is really tough to cover because if they're running it correctly, you think it's really going to be a slant. Yeah, well, you, we talk all the time about how it's tough to execute offensively, but you're saying... That animation was weird, too. He was holding his hands above his head. Taught is to not get caught inside or get beat inside. So you guard that a little bit more. So that gives you a little bit more space to operate outside. Like, he was running, he was running like he was trying to hold his hands above someone's head, but there was no one near him. <laughs> score 14 to 7 here's Robinson here's Robinson oh oh my god past the 30 still going one man to beat and he will score Touchdown. yeah it's like a six second delay on, on the stream die no, I can't I can't do it the twitch makes it makes me do it That's the first time I've ever seen that in the Madden game in like four years. Challenge him. Kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I do everything possible to keep him alive. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. So let's try this again after the kick return team. Oh, okay. The 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard past there to the 20. Well, I've, I've never played for smoking or higher in life, so I don't have an opinion about it. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this fall game, and they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive, so we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best power? The Browns is zero is zero and five right now. Let's go. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. They're going to run again with Snell. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. 11 more yards that goal. Yeah. Down, a first down doing down. okay. We're doing okay. But we still down by 14 points. So we didn't reach any, we didn't any ground. Oh, he almost, oh, he almost threw an interception, man. Back to throw, O'Connell. Like I don't know, like twenty-two. So we started the quarter with one, so. <laughs> oh my God, Michael made the decision now. Oh my God. My team is so fragile. I think I got like five inter players right now. Wow. He hit him right on the shoulder. He couldn't turn around and caught that. He tried, he tried.
So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit? I don't know how true it was, but I heard it before spoken. It got okay after you got um after you got your like lightning power or whatever, yeah, your, your movement ability. First down, it's Herbert. That's caught by Ayuk on the slam. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 11 yards for number 11. So for number oh, okay. 6 now, first and 10. First and 10 at the 36 yard line. Herbert now. Short throw underneath to Hurst. Ooh, Hurst just got injured. Appears to be an injured bear on the field. Here's a that pass he just caught injured him. Tenth carry now for Elliott. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. So on the other side of the field now, it's first yeah. and ten. As they've got the I think that, I think those were they were appealing to two different audiences. Oh my god. This is exactly like the last game, except for we got a touchdown instead of a second, uh, a second field goal. And the lead is up to 18 now. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Well, the Rio offense about to set up shop once again. And they had a long drive last night. I just think people's tastes are are objective. People like what they like. Yeah, not out now, joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit even though they wanted the six points. And maybe war down the other defense. We'll see. Good run. Good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now O'Connell. Quickly here, and that's complete. And we see another Oh, he's bleeding. I've never seen that either. His mouth was bleeding. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends. That was weird. Their ability to make people miss in the open. That must have became in an update. Big plays for an offense. Throwing O'Connell. Oh, he dropped. Come on, this way too many drop passes. Y'all gotta hold on to the ball. Here's O'Connell. Nice. He's got his target. That's complete. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The third down conversion successful. A gain of 11. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out. Yeah, I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay. Don't take this from us, Ref. Final two minutes of the half. Oh wow! They said he was out of. Oh my goodness! He got hit. <laughs> that could you call a hater? I played Infamous. I've never played Prototype. And he's well on his way to a hundred-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate sense of where they are. I played Infamous 1, but I've never played Infamous 2. Because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. And he'll go right back to Moore. Complete again. Call it a gain of six on the play. And that will bring up second down. going to be incomplete a lot of times it's that first read that you have maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target but he was covered quite well and that one's incomplete now 
Now Herbert with it looking to pass. He finds his man. It's Robinson. Uh, now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. He got a lot of work to do. Shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Right, my linebackers do not cover, but that's Madden in general. Like that's the one thing that I've learned in in general. The AI uh, linebackers don't cover at all. Here's Herbert. Got a man. That's IU. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts, so that means they're down to one remaining. Down by both as we head toward halftime. Oh. <laughs> Here's Herbert now on second down. And he'll go underneath you to Elliott. For some reason, all the linebackers do in Madden is our run protection. And they don't even do that well. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. And his kick is indeed good. And that will extend their lead even further. So he's been automatic to this point of the season and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon. Well, for me, it wasn't, it wasn't necessarily, um, it wasn't necessarily a price thing. I would just, wasn't. I didn't find it. And he won't quite make it to the 25. First down and 10 at their own 24 yard line. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we come upon halftime here at Soldier Field with the Bears out in front. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. A lot to get to here as some of the division races starting to take shape. As we look around the NFL here in week number seven. With prototype, it didn't appeal to me. And then with um, city of Indianapolis. And it's the Colts who are on top as they've hit halftime. Anthony mm, Richardson. Yeah, I guess. Touchdown pass in that first half. I did, it's just, just, it didn't, it didn't hit for me. And I didn't play Infamous 2 because I got everything I wanted from Infamous, infamous 1. Derek Carr has a couple of touchdown passes there. Lastly, Derek Carr is like, that embarrassed me last week. I'm going to make up for it. At home in East Rutherford. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. Alvin Kamara is on the Giants. Kirk, up over 100 yards receiving with two touchdown grabs. We're accustomed to seeing strong quarterback play. We got that in the first half from Justin Herbert. He connected on three touchdown passes in those first two quarters. As his guys have built up a sizable lead here at the break. They was still there right, killing coach, us. Thank you very much. As we welcome you back for quarter number three. They literally just here to humble us because we won three out of the last four. Second half bring as we are back underway on EA Sports. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. This offense ready to go. He got, 40, he got 49 yards, 8 yards per carry, so that's not bad. Board facing that deficit, a three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time to go here. The old football cliche that comes to my mind is you can't get it all back at once. They probably need something. Devin can't get it back if we throw it behind the line of scrimmage. Charles said that there's no three-score drive on that play sheet for any of those coordinators. They just don't have it, right? You're trying to get it all back. You know you can't get it back in one drive. But maybe cut into it a little bit as you just suggested. Try and create a little bit of momentum, a little bit of a spark, and then maybe that'll carry over. They challenged it again? Okay, I'm about to say. Challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Try to run for it with Snell. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28 yard line. We ought to come up with a t-shirt and sell it that says, no indecision on third and one. And we didn't see it on that run, did we? Got his shoulders square, just got right into the line of scrimmage and picked it up. Absolutely picked his lane, went with it. I don't think I have a favorite genre of game. I think I like, uh, I have favorite games in the genre. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. And the real first down. O'Connell working from the gun. Oh, he dropped it. He dropped it? Come on. The way this one's gone. Now it's second and ten. Off the play fake. O'Connell. 
Hey, good throw away. Now throw right side here, gonna be incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely gonna find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's gotta fight. He's alright. Show him what he's made of. <laughs> Fakes the handoff. Now O'Connell to throw. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're gonna ruin him out of it. What? Oh my gosh! This is referees! Here's AJ Cole now as he's on here to punt it away. You could take the team out of Oakland, but you can't take the ref the Oakland out of the ref. Goodness. It's a touchback. So here are the Bears to take over on offense. They've won two straight and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. Now it's Herbert. He'll get this into the hey, we in Chicago now. That's why we went to Rio because, like, these American refs. <laughs> Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. The American refs are blind. Back to throw here, Herbert. He's going to look deep for more. Oh. That's a nice catch. I can't even say anything about that one. That was a good one. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Got his tight end. Oh, we got tackle better than that. Washington. Only a yard on the completion. It's second and goal. But I would say that it's alright. Yeah. It's like toss left to Elliot. Like and he'll fight for I don't I don't know what other way to say it. It's alright. A chance to really put this game out of reach. Here's third and goal. Here's Herbert. Touchdown. Uh uh. Hey, Hurst. Yeah, Extra point by Ryland up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 28. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. Let's go. He's past the 30. He might take this all the way. He will take this all the way. Let's go. That was a special return. And it happened because he's a special returner. He has to have that approval from his special teams coach's head coach to bring it out of the end zone. But let's be honest, a lot of times when they bring it out of the end zone like he did there, they don't have approval. I mean, I, I think a lot of times they do, but correct me if I'm wrong, sometimes it's just a guy getting a feel, right? Yeah, exactly right. What's the old adage? Sometimes you just have to know when to break the rules. Okay, so we, now it's just three touchdowns. But he was happy to do so there. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll go down as this I'm not for me. Justin Herbert leading this uh, for me a good game. Well, I don't get overly excited one way or the other, either angry or mad about a video game. But um what makes a good game for me is like the story or whatever. Or what I'm doing. Like the the story for um so games like that, which is mindless hacking slash dynasty warriors included, it's just like eh. like wide open, puts it in there, four touchdown passes. He thinks he's gonna throw a whole lot more before this one's over. And not much to speak of. Call it a one yard gain up to the twenty six. Here's third and nine. Back to throw. Herbert. is going to be incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it um, twice. What would be cool to me? Good. Like, I like um, mechanics. I think they, they have, like, games can have cool mechanics or whatever that I was like, oh, that's not this is fielded at the 27. But, so a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. He has 65 yards on eight carries. That's not bad. to take over. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, 
it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. To throw here, O'Connell. Oh! It's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Bears are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Throwing there, but the nice. pass is going to wind up in. That should have been a fumble. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. And he'll be brought down right on the 50, a gain of three. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe yeah I guess, but they, they, the premise is still the same. Try to defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Let's go. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Dynasty Warriors was Dynasty Warriors was one of my favorite games growing up. And that will send them back to the drawing board. But in terms of hack and slap. Oh my god, they put us on a one yard line. We about to give up a safety. That's not good. Starting the drive with Snell. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Here's a second and eight. This is definitely a humbling game. Here's Snell yet again. Until the next one, then I'm Bukaki is all all get out as before. To the ten yard line. Seventy three yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. And it's third down. They run straight ahead with Snell. Good run. The first down here as he's up to the fifteen. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. A gain of five, and the Rio de Janeiro first down. You don't think Dynasty Warriors and Prototype are the same type of game? And that one too wide and incomplete. They, they seem like just to me. To put that one into Lake Michigan. I think his receivers have to do a better job of working free because he didn't have anywhere to go at all. On that play. Back to throw, O'Connell. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you gotta hit. He's wide open right there. Gotta be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available. Right, I, I see it every time he's right. like pass. you said, I see them both as just hack it flash game. Throw caught by <laughs> And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Rookie to rookie. That's like, that's like saying, like, I would say, uh, for example, like, um, well, um, um, Battlefield and Call of Duty are the same in game. Like, turn it into a nice game. They'll go with Snell here on first down. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. From the 34 yard line, here's a second down and nine. Here's O'Connell looking to throw it. Got a man, that's Lazard. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets in the. Well, we have multiple maps. So into bear territory now. Well, this is we have multiple maps. At the 47. Now a give here to Snell. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Yeah, I guess. But like I don't like for the for those two games, I don't see I don't see second and thirteen. They'll get this quickly out to Claypool. And that's good for a gain of six. Third and seven now. Well, yeah, okay, I can see that. Whereas in The play fake. Here's O'Connell. And that is incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third. And now they deal with fourth down. Like, I think the story elements are different. 
in terms of like like you said with the, um, in terms of like dynasty for you um like you well the, at least the ones in america <laughs> the dynasty warriors it was you pick a character you just beat up a whole bunch of people um, like the story elements were different, but the the, the mechanics were pretty much the same to me. And down he'll go at the 25. Well, now hang on here because he appears to be shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. But isn't that just like story mechanics more so than like a different a genre of game? And he's going to be stopped here for no gain. And that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter of play. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. Back now at Soldier Field. Right, so it's like when I say story, I mean like a, a plot device. It's a it's something to just move the story forward. Here to start quarter number four. Now an option play on second down. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. This offense on third down so, okay, in that so in that regard, uh, would you a melee mobile is different than a gun mobile? Give to and he got blown up on that play back at the 20. That'll back him up two That's what I'm saying. Also bring up Ford. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing I think him to get back they are to both, the They're both action or the yeah, they both action as to kick this one away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they With that, I would think that that's semantics. Because... <laughs> First down throw, O'Connell. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he gets this up across the 35. Oh, I, I can't, I can't debate that because I've never played eight. Now here's a second and five. Throwing O'Connell. Oof. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Trent McDuffie with a pick, and they will score. That's like saying to me when, when I hear that, it's like saying a basketball game is a is different than a football game, but they're both but they're both sports. They both. Sports games. And that'll increase their lead to 28. A heck of a play there defensively getting the interception. Because basketball and football is played completely different, but they're still sports games. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Throwing after the interception. O'Connell. Throw left side. Take it in by Claypool. And that's like saying, that's like saying that, that Eugene Zelda, that's like saying to me that Zelda and Genshin aren't this, they, they're not the same game because one's a gotcha and one's not. They're still both adventure games. They're still both adventure games. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first. Like, I think they're both open world adventure games. Yes, one has gotcha elements to it, but open man completes it to Claypool. They'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. That's good for 28 yards. And with this game well in hand, perhaps we are seeing the coverage lighten up a little bit as they got burned there a bit for a first down. But we certainly know the yeah, I get that. I get, like, I get, um, Godfrey, I get what you're saying, too, about it, one being, one, you have to play a certain, you have to play mindless tactics slash, but at the end of the day, it's still hacking to in my mind. First down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. Now it's O'Connell. Over the middle, he's got Mayer. 
Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. And they go play action here with O'Connell. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. And once again, O'Connell back to throw. Look yeah, I never, like, I never played prototype, so I don't know. I don't, like I said, I don't know the, um, I don't know, like, all the ins and outs of prototype. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Throwing left sideline there. Another injury on the oh my god. This bad again, really? Trying to hold on. This is third and goal. And O'Connell now to throw. Um, you talking about prototype? For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down. So let's sort this out. Illegal touching. But I can see the Spider Man and. But I could say that Spider Man and um, Prototype the, the same game. Dynasty Wars, no, because the way I see Dynasty Wars is literally just like the story is secondary to just how many people you can beat up. Whereas um, Spider Man, the, the forefront is the story. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, like I've only I've only ever watched someone play. Um, and now of course all score. I've only ever watched someone play prototype, and all they did was just beat. beat. Literally, the story was irrelevant. It would go to here, beat two hundred people, and go. Whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone, and not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that'll cut the lead back down to 21. Here's Robinson. Here's Robinson. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. Well, the win for them at this point seems pretty assured. I mean, still a decent amount of time left here in the fourth quarter, Charles, but you got the football. You're up three we three got three. killed. Oh, my God. Really good about where they're at. I love your observation skill, Parker, because I think you saw them charge onto the field, fired up about another chance to get into the end zone. Looks to me like this group is ready to crush any hope left on the opposing sideline. They want to do it with some gusto, too. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. <laughs> Fair. Herbert with it looking to pass. Able to find the open man. That's complete. It's the, it's the first game to get his own genre, uh, kind of like how uh, Dark Souls did. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I, I can see it on that. Yeah, definitely. Dynasty Warriors carved out its own niche and it did not change for 20 years. <laughs> The biggest addition I've ever seen added to a Dynasty Warriors game was the addition of a character. <laughs> now it's Herbert. That ball caught Brandon Ayu. And he works it past the 30 almost to the 25. <laughs> Like when, when they added the um the yellow turbans, the factor for the yellow turbans, that was the biggest addition I've ever seen to a Dynasty Warriors game. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. It's a gain of five, brings up second and five at the 
Yeah. Like the elephant and the tiger. <laughs> and they'll send the slot in motion left. Elliott going to get it again on second down. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 108 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous. Um, yeah, they, basically what happened was they were released in Japan and, and they never came to America. So what happens is they created the Dynasty World. It started in America. They took that style game and created in America and then they just connected the, connected the screen. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. Yeah. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. <laughs> now Elliott. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Yeah, Dynasty Warriors is cool. It's one of those games where you just turn your mind off and just like, I want to hit something. <laughs> they go to Elliott again. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time. We got we got beat up. Long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Here's Herbert. Got his man and it's caught for a Chicago touchdown. They scored 50 on us. That's wild. Fourth of the year. And the Bears up the lead to four scores now here in this fourth quarter. The only the only reason I'm not as upset is because literally five of my all, my defensive starters is is injured. No room to run as he's tackled down inside the twenty. Now the Rio offense set to take over. They they put a whooping on us. They said, "Welcome back to America." To erase that deficit that they were facing, CD, but unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable. We should take a shot at the end zone, just because. They do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down. We were just jet lagged because we had four, we had three games in a row in uh, Rio, and then we had to come to Chicago. To throw here, O'Connell. That is caught. Let's go. He threw with 288 yards, so I'm not too I'm not too broken up about that. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. My whole defense is injured. In Dynasty Warriors, I don't know. I haven't played Dynasty Warriors since I think like eight, so I don't know. I don't know where the story went. They killed us. Right. There was a murder here today. <laughs> I played the very first, like, Dynasty Warriors version of, like, uh, I mean, Dynasty Warriors. One Piece version of Dynasty Warriors, and that was it. I just wanted to see how they did Law, because that's that's one of my favorite characters in get the most unique powers. He's not a villain! <laughs> okay. Uh, oh. Oh yeah, yeah. I like I like A lot of um what's the name though? A lot of the um 
I like his his power is weird. I like his his power is like I wish they would have gave him more screen time from where I stopped watching. Oh, they get wait, they put Law in the live action? And what I don't, what doesn't make sense about it is that like when he breaks into buggy break live action, um, strength is still like that of twice the uh, strength of a normal person. I'm like, really? Okay, hold on. Let me check. Let me check. Um, we made money. We made ten thousand. Uh, made, and I, I that little three or four. Sorry, ten million. And that last three runs of games, we made ten million dollars. <laughs> we can't even turn the lights over ten thousand. <laughs> um let me check this uh okay, who they got us going with who we were looking at They got us picking up a quarterback <laughs> from Hawaii. Yeah. We have week um we have week six, seven. They do four mock drafts. Realistically, to keep it a hundred, the reason why they have the four mock drafts is so that you can see like um, the like the quarterback, for example, you can see their stats. Each week, they get it gets more information. Each mock draft, you get more. Yeah. Nah, they only give you they only give you his stats, um, his player profile, and what um, like his, his stat, what stats would be when he comes out of college. Is he, he's a great he's great to elite with strength and throwing power though. And then you could go into like the awareness like the things I personally care about is stamina, um medium to short passing passing ability, thrown under pressure. And injury and play action. Hey, like if you if you are a real coach or slash owner, you gotta always be prepared to pull the trigger on someone new. The, the, who I'm actually looking at, though, I'm looking at the offensive line. I think that's what we need more than anything. The actual, my actual prospects, the ones that I'm telling. Well, no, you got to give us a little bit credit. Look what we did to the, the um, was it the Bears? Not the Bears. It was the Patriots last week. 
He did to the Patriots. Uh, Derek Carr. <laughs> wow. You can't play the homie like that. That's the homie. He got, good, he got a good change of direction, which I'm looking. I'm looking for change of direction for my lineman. Change of direction, and um, okay. Rate is lowest. Is that enough? Um, the last guy. This guy is from Florida, and last guy was from Florida, too. 6'4", 3, 335. Oh, this, this right guard is not bad. Can't run block or pass block. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. I like. I was looking at. I was. I was looking at him. Gave him an extra look because all of his like core stats is. Hello? Did you have to buy Madden 24 in 26? <laughs> definitely, definitely. You can get 23 pretty cheap. It. But if we just talking about if we just talking about if we just talking about pure price. <laughs> yeah, ten games. Day three though, so I can get all. Of, I could probably get all of these for pretty cheap. Because what I do, I don't know if you, if anyone would consider this cheap, right? But I kind of, I kind of play it like how Eli Manning went to the Giants instead of going to the Chargers. What I do is, if I like a character that I want to put my team, I would just go and try to trade after the draft. But in this game, they made it more difficult, more realistic to trade, so I don't know how that's going to go. 
But anyway, I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to leave this here. I appreciate Miss Ladyish, the illustrious one, Godfrey, for keeping the chat moving. Um, John Slice, the genius, and the resident troll, while I tell you my quarterback is trash. Um, this is supposed to be his season. He's supposed to he's supposed to be all all hands on, all support. But um, you know that that's not how that happened. <laughs> um, I want to appreciate all the people working. I want to appreciate anyone watches on Twitch and on YouTube. I appreciate you. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be back. I might be back with the, the um game that I was playing. I've been I've been we're gonna get back to that um that role playing game that I was playing, but I don't know. But I'll catch y'all later. Hold on, let me give y'all y'all shout outs. All right, later.